Life is about endless learning, and endless learning is about the life around you. In the School of Life, here in beautiful Bangladesh, it has a deeper meaning altogether. Trying to find Bangladesh in a travel book will never let you experience her beauty. To truly find her, step into her embrace and feel her warmth. Create your own map to discover the riches she holds. In the largest mangrove forest of the world, you too shall find your brave spirit. The forest lies in the vast delta on the Bay of Bengal and became inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In the home of the Royal Bengal Tiger, learn to collect honey for dangerously sweet reward. <laughs> Return to an age of innocence and amazement and learn to make it a permanent part of life. Enter the Baharpur Bihar, situated at North Bengal, the 7th century archaeological site is now another world heritage. It holds evidence of the rise of Mahayana Buddhism in Bengal, a renowned intellectual center until the 12th century. Follow your bliss. Leave behind all the rules and be your own guide. You'll learn that happiness comes when you go with the flow. Bangladesh is proud of its vast rivers and therefore affectionately called the land of rivers by its people. The civilization in this delta evolved around the rivers. the universe entrance you in its rhythm. Here in the La Lunacra, you will learn the true meaning of inner silence and the truth of eternal present. You'll learn the trademark of Bangladesh's beauty, simplicity, and warmth. Shed your outer layers and discover the simplicity in the beautifully natural and authentic you. Bangladeshis are essentially simple in nature. Shart Gumbuj Masjid, a mosque built by the greatest Muslim Saint Khan Jahan Ali with 77 squat domes is now a World Heritage Site. And Tungipara, the birthplace and the resting ground of Sheikh Mujibar Rahman, holds the memories of the father of the nation, the founder of independent Bangladesh. Find out how to dream without bounds from the man who envisioned a Sona Bangla, a golden and free Bangladesh. Mujib Nagur will tell you the glorious stories of the birth of a free nation. Where can you learn to love the mother language more? The 21st of February is of special significance to the people of Bangladesh. On this date of 1952, people sacrificed their lives for the right to speak their mother tongue, Bangla. UNESCO declared the 21st of February to be International Mother Language Day. Enjoy carnivals the Bangladeshi way. Loads of colors, candy floss, local sweets and fun. 
Carnivals are an inseparable part of the tradition of Bangladesh. You can learn the secret sutra of happiness here. Roam around the Jatiyo Shongshu Bhavan, the National Assembly, designed by architect Louis I. Khan. It's one of the largest legislative complexes in the world. The fuchka is a highly popular street food here. Beware, or you might just get addicted to the taste. Do you really need a reason for celebration? Not in Bangladesh, and especially in old Dhaka. And if it's a ceremony like a marriage, you'll be simply blown away with all the colours and festivity. Experience Asa Nanjil, standing on the river Burigunga, the once home of the Nobs of Dhaka, and a silent spectator to many events. In Bangladesh, you will learn the magic of bonding. Here, you're part of the family. Hospitality is in the nation's genes. Drink coconut juice and enjoy pita, the homemade rice cakes. The process of getting date juice is as exciting as it tastes. Without years of experience and expertise, it is simply an impossible task. Welcome to the Bundarbans, the home of the highest three peaks of Bangladesh. In Bangladesh, dancing comes naturally. In nature, we find our music, in the sky, our muse, in the ground, our rhythm, and in ourselves, the performer. Lawachara is one of the major national sanctuary reserves in Bangladesh. For bird watchers, this is simply a heaven. Sri Mungal is known as the tea capital of Bangladesh. The area has over 150 tea gardens. Stroll around. Enjoy the traditional Munipuri dance. Cox's Bazaar, known for its world's longest natural sandy sea beach, 125 kilometers long. Here, cricket is everywhere. Enjoy the game and the sand and the sea. After all, Bangladesh is hosting the Cricket World Cup 2011 and so the hope is it catches on. <laughs> to me, Bangladesh is a country where you can never go. You can only come back. Your body might leave the land, but your heart will surely stay behind. Jai. Jai na ashi. Ashi. <laughs>